Hey, this is Matt Whitmer from Brady Precision. In this video, we are taking a look at another issue that we're seeing pop up a lot lately uh, based on support tickets that come in to us from our customers. And that is an issue with the weather service in Niagara where you get stale data for the current value of your weather station and location. So let's jump into Niagara. Thankfully, this is a pretty quick and simple fix. And I'll show you exactly how you do that. All right, so I've got a station open here, just a demo station on my machine. And I've got a weather service brought in, and I've got a weather report brought in. That weather report is just for a local airport. And you can see I am experiencing this problem, which is I'm getting a stale on my current value, and uh, I'm not getting any value at all, actually, for the current conditions. So... What we need to do is make a little bit of a change to the server that the weather report is using. And thankfully, uh, Tritium has made this uh, available to us as something that we can fix. So if I go into my weather service and my weather report and I go to my views and AX property sheet, you'll see all of the individual forecast days as well as the current. And I have my provider. This is the location that I selected. Um, if I right click on my provider, making sure I'm right clicking on the provider specifically, and I go to views and I go to the AX slot sheet, we get uh, a bunch of hidden values are in here, a bunch of hidden properties that we can change. And the one that we're looking for is the conditions server. Uh, you'll notice that there's also this forecast server and advisory server. We want the condition server. When I initially went to do these changes myself, I just you know saw server and was trying to make changes on the forecast server. That's not where you want it. You want it on the conditions. That's what it uses for the current property on the weather report itself. So I'm gonna right click on that condition server, go to config flags and uncheck hidden on that slot. What that's gonna do is make it so that we can now see that property on our property sheet for the provider. So if I just go up to the top right here and I change to property sheet, now we can see that I have that condition server as uh, visible to me. And by the default, it's going to use www.weather.gov. What we want to do is change that to forecast.weather.gov. Hit save. And then I'm going to go back to the property sheet on my weather report. And then I'm going to right-click on the weather report, go to Actions, do Update. And now we can see that I'm getting my current value for the weather uh, status. And that is showing up as we would expect it to. And one thing I did want to note is that Tritium does have a advisory kind of article on this on Niagara community and I will link that down in the description below so that you can uh, see exactly what Tritium is saying about this and it is what we just went over that is their fi their official fix for the problem uh, this is an issue that they're working on having rectified for future versions of Niagara but all of the current releases do not have this uh, feature as being fixed so hopefully that's helpful if you haven't run into it yet um, and you're you use the weather service a lot in your projects you'll probably run into this so good to just store away um, as a little piece of uh, knowledge going forward because thankfully the the fix is pretty simple so thank you for watching if you uh, have any questions or comments you can leave them down below like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in finding out more about Niagara or, you know, you're looking for a, maybe a distributor for to purchase your Niagara from, you can reach us at store.brodyprecision and brodyprecision.com and reach out to one of our uh, sales people and uh, they can help you out. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.